from inside the cat hoarding home in Wildwood reveals conditions worse than the family first thought. Fox Files investigator Chris Hayes obtained it while following the family's efforts to protect their elderly father who lived there. Now we want to warn you, you may find this video disturbing. You wouldn't know it from looking from the outside of this 5,700 square foot Wildwood home that it was recently a playground for nearly 175 cats. We showed you pictures in September as family members fought to protect their elderly father who lived here until there was a county health order to vacate. Now, new video taken by family reveals conditions worse than they first feared. A bathroom shared by cats with waste on the sink and piling up in the bathtub. The homeowner's daughter, Carolyn Hayden, told us in September that another relative had moved in with their elderly parents and bizarrely kept all family away for years. That particular person, that the home was her safe space um, and that she did not want us in her safe space. Hayden said police and social service agencies refused to intervene because someone would always answer the door and say they were okay. The family finally got access after their mother died. The pictures and videos clearly show the conditions under which they were living were not okay. It's, it's mind blowing. The homeowner's grandson, Jonathan Carter, says the smell of ammonia is so overwhelming in the home, it attaches to you. The, just the 15, 20 minutes you be in there, you, you gotta wash your clothes. We told you in September how 140 cats were rescued and taken to the APA for adoption. Another 35 cats have been found hiding since then, with APA continuing to appeal to the public for help finding homes. Meanwhile, the family has asked the St. Louis County Courts to appoint a personal representative for their deceased mother's estate, telling me someone has used her credit card since she died, not their dad. Yes, somebody has access um, and um, we're currently trying to get everything shut off. A probate hearing scheduled here today was the family's attempt to protect their elderly father, who's no longer in that house, but is feared to still be at risk. That hearing unexpectedly postponed just as soon as it began, but court hearings so far have led to the homeowner getting placed in assisted living and having a guardian ad litem appointed to him. For the Fox Files, I'm Chris Hayes.